Hey guys, Mary Elizabeth here. Welcome or welcome back. Today I'm collaborating with Minwax and they are supporting me to create a DIY hack. We're taking a very basic bench and we're turning it into a customized style statement. Personally, I love benches. I love how versatile they are. I think they work really well in small spaces. I love them for the entryway. Take off your shoes, put on your shoes, put your shoes under the bench. You can hang a hook above it. You can slide that by the couch if you want and put your feet up when you're watching TV or use it kind of an impromptu table if you want to sit on the floor. You can slide it into the bedroom and put it on the foot of your bed. I just think benches offer so much versatility. So without further ado, let's get to this. This video was super fun because I got to work with Minwax water-based products. I've never worked with them before and I loved it because it wasn't overwhelming, it wasn't too much. And I don't know, I really like that. I think sometimes you have to wear masks and it gets really crazy and this was just easy peasy. I loved it. Using Minwax water-based pre-stained wood conditioner, I applied that first. So I just used a brush because it was really easy. Because we're working with a water-based stain today, I'm also using a water-based pre-stain conditioner. This will help even out all of the stain color so there's no blotchiness. And because we're working with a water-based stain, It'll help control any grain raising. It goes on so simply. I let the conditioner sit maybe like one to three minutes and then just wipe off all the excess with a cloth. After I waited maybe like 15 to 30 minutes and the conditioner was completely dry, I lightly sanded just a little bit all over with fine sandpaper and then just wiped off the dust. Once the conditioner is applied, I added the Minwax Perfectly Pink water-based stain. This is the same kind of application. You apply it. I used a brush, so I used a lot of product on it. You can also use a rag and use less. And that's the fun part about stain is you can decide how much of that wood grain you want to see, if you want it to be lighter, if you want it to be darker. I kind of just went for it. My walls are white, so I said, let's go bold. I went bold. I painted that on and then I wiped it off and I love that you can see the wood through it. And so it still has that naturalness, but it's also really bright and fun and vibrant. I've always lived in pretty small spaces. That's why I can relate really well to the whole bench thing and finding places for stuff. For me personally, this works really well because I've always wanted a bench in my entryway and I've never, ever, ever had the space from living in bungalows and here and there. I've always kind of like made things work. So now I can really do what I want and I'm excited about it. All right, so you want to let that stain get good and dry. If you want to apply more coats, you can. I only applied one and it came out super dark and beautiful, but obviously depends on the look you're going for and probably the color you use as well. So once I finished with that, I let it dry completely. I needed to finish it. I used Minwax water-based polyacrylic protective finish. It's a little bit of a mouthful, but it works really well. And you can add one to three thin coats. The more coats you add, the more protection you get. And obviously you dry between that. It tells you how to do it on the cans. So you just read the can and follow the directions. The beauty of the Minwax whole process from the conditioner to the stain to the polyacrylic finish is that it's really simple to do and you have a little bit of downtime in between. So with that downtime, I decided to make a little cushion. I did a thin cushion. I didn't want it to be too much and kind of take away from everything. I just want it to be a little softer place to kind of land and add a little bit of kind of bohemian fun detail to it. So I did a shibori, itajeme, it itajame, it like hang on, let me have my phone here. Itajime, itajime. Sorry if I'm saying that incorrectly. Basically, it's an accordion fold, which is really simple to do. I literally just had my rectangular piece and I started folding it back and forth. Like I said, exactly like an accordion. So you go all the way, and then once you have it in the long strip, you accordion back and forth until you just have that square. So with that square and in my indigo dye box, which I'll link to it below so you guys can get it, super easy, gives you great directions. It has wood blocks already included. So I use those two little wood pieces, I sandwich that in and just rubber banded it around and it creates a really cool square sort of thing. I ended up putting this in the dye vat twice. So I did it once and what's really cool about it is it comes out and needs to oxidize to even get blue. It comes out and it's like, has green on it, has green color and literally in about 20 minutes of leaving it with the dye on it outside in the air, it oxidizes and turns into a deep blue. And trust me, you get started on this, it is so fun and so addictive. So once I dyed my fabric, I just got a really thin piece of foam from the craft store. Just using a simple present wrapping method, I wrapped my thin piece of foam with my shibori fabric and just took a tiny bit of fabric glue 
and secured it on both ends. So I just flipped that over and it's easy peasy on the bench, ready to go. Once my bench was dry, I slid it over by the door. I put my little pad on, I added a couple little throw pillows, a hook to grab my purse or a hat or any kind of decorations as you walk in and voila, tray sheet. I have a little bench that could be for my entry, it could be for my living room, it could be for my bedroom. It gets to move around and play with me and grow with me. I hope you guys like this project. Thank you, huge shout out to Minwax for supporting and collaborating with me on this. And I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you guys would do, where you guys would put it, and how you guys would style it in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Bye!